hemicycle discuss the humanitarian situation of Ukrainian refugees and displaced persons. How would you evaluate the current situation in Ukraine on refugees and displaced persons? It's quite a dire situation. There are tens of thousands of people uh, in areas controlled by the Ukrainian government which are who are housed, who are receiving uh, assistance of various kinds, primarily from NGOs and local governments. Uh, I'm most concerned about people living in and near the conflict-affected areas, as well as in the rebel-held areas, uh, particularly by the, the situation of, of the most vulnerable. El elderly persons, persons living in psychiatric institutions, uh, <coughs> uh, and, and there, uh, it's, it's quite a serious situation. We have seen progress. Um, I was quite concerned last summer about what, what would happen in the winter time because many people were living in non-winterized housing, uh, but many solutions seem, appear to have been found. When I was in December, I was quite uh, pleased to see uh, the mobilization of local authorities and NGOs. A good law has been adopted, uh, but I think the government needs to work out a long-term plan for the integration of, of IDPs and uh, to seek international assistance for it, and thus far it does not have this long-term plan. So what would be your recommendation to Ukrainian authorities? Well, first of all, regarding the humanitarian situation in the rebel-held areas is to facilitate the access and, and don't put any restrictions on the access of, of UN agencies and humanitarian organizations. Uh, to have a very flexible approach to paying pensions to people uh, who are moving around. Uh, <coughs> but also to have a, a long-term plan for the integration of refugees, to seek international assistance for it. Um, and to work closely with, with, with the UN, uh, UN agencies and, and, other, and others. What the uh, Council of Europe member states could do to improve the current situation? Well, I think it's very important to not lose sight of the situation of the most vulnerable when people are discussing very controversial political issues and political conflicts and military issues. Um, 